Here's a iPad Air, fourth generation. I'm going to show you how to set it up step by step. First thing is go ahead and turn it on. The power button is right here. Just press and hold until you see the Apple logo um, on the screen and go ahead and let it boot up. And then from there, once it's booted up and you see a hello in different language and whatnot, just go from the bottom of the screen and just swipe up like this. First thing we're going to do is choose your language. I'm going to go with English. Select your country or region. I am here in the United States, so I'm going to tap on that. If you have a iPhone or another iPad, you can bring it close by and go ahead and do a quick start. It'll go through the setup um, process a little bit faster. If not, just tap on Setup Manually, which I'm going to do here. Choose your Wi-Fi network. I'm going to go ahead and choose my Wi-Fi here. Enter your password. After you put in your password, tap on join. Go ahead and let it connect. Now this may take a few minutes to activate your iPad, so be patient here. Data and privacy. If you want to read more, you can go and tap on learn more or go ahead and just tap on continue right there. You can set up your touch ID, basically a fingerprint password. You can do that now or you can go ahead and set it up later. I'm going to go ahead and set mine up now, so I'm going to go ahead and tap on continue right there. Now the scanner is actually the power button here, so go ahead and t put the finger that you want to register. Just put it on there and let go. On, let go, and just wait till all this down here fills up. Just keep on going up, up, down, up, down, up, down. Just keep on going. Almost there. All right, now we're gonna tap the edge of our fingers here. Okay, so tap on continue and now get the edge. Put on that power button right there. Just get the edges all over. Right there, and now we're done with that. Let's go and tap on continue. Now if you want, you can go ahead and add another fingerprint or whatnot, or you can always do it later. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and set mine up later. Go ahead and create a passcode. It's going to be six digits. Once you put it in the first time, it's going to ask you to reconfirm. So reconfirming here. All right. I'll give it one second here. Apps and data. Choose how you want to transfer apps and data to this iPad. You have several options. Okay, you can restore from a iCloud backup, you can restore from a Mac or a PC that has iTunes, you can transfer directly from another iPad, you can move data from an Android phone or a tablet as well, or you can go don't transfer apps and data and do a whole clean slate, which I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm going to tap on don't transfer apps and data. Now it's asking for your Apple ID, you can go ahead and put that in now, or if you forgot your password, you can tap it in there, or if you don't have an Apple ID you want to create one, you can tap here as well. Okay, so for me, what I'm going to do is I, I want to set this up later. So for me, I'm just going to go ahead and tap down here, forgot or don't have Apple ID. Let me tap down here. And then I have an option set up later in settings, which I'll do because I, I don't remember my um, password here. So for now, I'll tap on don't use. Terms and conditions, go ahead and read through that. You have to agree to proceed. So I'm going to tap on agree there. Express settings, you can continue or you can customize your settings. Okay, for me, I'm good with just continue right there. Keep your iPad up to date. I'm going to tap on continue. Here is Siri. You can go ahead and um, set up later in settings if you wish, or you don't have to set it up at all. Or if you want to set it up now, like I do, I'm going to tap on continue here. I'm going to pick one of the voices here that I want. Hi, I'm. Hi. Hi. Uh, hi, I'm Siri. I'm Siri. I'm going to go Choose with the voice you'd like me number to two here. I'm going to tap on next. Got to say this. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, send a message. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, play some music. Okay, so we're done with the uh, Siri now. Improve Siri and dictation. You can share audio recordings or not now. Okay, that's up to you. For me, I'm fine with um, share audio recordings. 
screen time, you can get uh, weekly reports about your um, screen time and whatnot. You can continue there, or you can set up later in settings. For me, I'm going to go set up in later, set up later in settings, and I'm not even going to set that up. And app analytics, uh, this is optional. You can share with app developers, or you don't have to share. I'm fine with sharing with them. True Tone Display, you can read this right here. You can go ahead and set it up without True Tone Display, or you can go ahead and go with the True Tone Display. For me, I do want the True Tone Display, so let me tap on Continue here. Appearance, Light Mode, or Dark Mode here. It's becoming pretty popular to put it in Dark Mode. I like Dark Mode better as well, so I'm going to continue from here. Welcome to iPad. Get started. Let's tap on there. And there we go. We are in business. So... Pretty simple. Any questions or issues, uh, just comment below. Good luck.